Okay, today I'm going to show you how to make a cotton washcloth. This is an, an old pattern, an easy pattern. It's called Grandmother's Favorite. You can find the directions online, but I'm going to show you it's uh, very fast and easy. You don't even need written directions. So it's a good way to practice your casting on and your knit stitch continental style. Okay, so you begin with cotton yarn. You can use sugar and cream. There's Lion carries cotton. There's a lot of cotton. So just any cotton yarn. Okay, to begin the washcloth, we start by casting on four stitches. So put them on snugly, not too tight. And if you've forgotten the cast on, you can just refer to my other video for the fast and easy cast on. So we have four stitches to begin. And again, we're going continental style. This is a great way to practice continental knitting. And we're going to begin the washcloth with the first row, just knit. So just get a get one knit row going. Put that on your needle. Alright, the second row, we begin the washcloth pattern, which is knit two, yarn over, knit the rest of the row. And at the beginning of every row, now, we're going to knit two, Throw the yarn over, knit the rest of the row. Let me do this one more time. So knit two, throw the yarn over, and knit the rest of the row. It doesn't look like much right now, but you can kind of see the beginning of the pattern. And there's the eyelet. So we're going to follow these uh, directions. Knit two, throw the yarn over, knit the rest of the row, until you have about 40 stitches on the needle. Okay, you can see that as we're knitting, following the pattern, the eyelet edge is revealing itself. So we'll keep following the pattern, increasing one stitch every row we knit until we get to 40 stitches. Alright, so we've got about 40 stitches on here and our pattern. You can see the pattern with the eyelets around. Now we need to start decreasing so that we'll get the rest of the square. We want to keep the pattern. So what we'll do, and this is what we'll be doing for the rest of the washcloth. We're going to knit one then we're going to knit two together. You put your needle through two stitches. So you knit two together. All right, so we've decreased. Then to keep the eyelet, we do a yarn over and we knit two together. There we go. So the net effect is we've decreased one stitch. And then we'll knit the rest of the row. And we'll continue that pattern until we get to four stitches left on the needle. Okay, so you can see how the pattern we're, we're decreasing and we've turned the corner. So again, for your decrease, you knit one, knit two together, yarn over, and knit two together. And then you just continue to knit the rest of the row.
Okay, we followed the pattern. We're now down to four stitches. So what we're going to do as in the beginning, we're just going to knit one row. And now we're going to bind off. So we'll knit, knit another one, slip the first stitch over, knit, slip that one over. This is your basic binding off. Bind off loosely so it's not tight. Until you're left with one stitch. Clip and pull the yarn through. So using your crochet hook, weave these tails of yarn in. And you can see the completed dishcloth. Once you start knitting continental style, you can get these done in 45 minutes to an hour. Fast and easy.